Hello there, I'm Chris from TechSpert and in the interest of YouTube science I've had Samsung's latest pair of true wireless earbuds stuffed inside of my baldy head for the better part of a week. The Samsung Galaxy Buds Live will cost you 179 quid if you purchase them here in the UK. So not quite as bad as the likes of the Beats but they're definitely getting up there, more expensive than the likes of the Jabra Elite 75Ts. But these bean shaped buds are among the most compact you'll find in 2020, they pack lots of audio smarts like active noise cancellation and the sound quality is pretty bloody good. So here's my full Samsung Galaxy Buds live review and for more than the latest greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So first up, like the fresh new Galaxy Note 20 Ultra smartphone, you can pick up the buds in a trio of colours. These are the Mystic Bronze, but you can also grab them in the slightly more sedate Mystic Black or White. And let me tell you, Mystic Bronze is definitely shaping up to be this year's Marmite colour. Some people really like it, and some people think it looks like puke. I happen to quite like Mystic Bronze, to be perfectly honest. It actually gives it more of a kidney bean aesthetic. And the whole bud does actually slip into your ear orifice quite comfortably as well. And as you can see, once they're in, very little of the buds actually protrude out of your lug hole. There's no droopy bits seeping out of each ear like you get with those god-awful AirPods. If you squint really close at the Galaxy Buds Live as well, you'll see that you've got a rubbery wing tip, which just helps to hold them in place. You've actually got a second size of that as well, just in case you don't find the fit is entirely comfortable. But there's no actual rubbery tip that goes into your ear canal. This uh, bit that actually pumps out the sound, it just rests outside your ear canal. So there's actually zero penetration of your inner ear. And despite mostly being a hard shell, I found that the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live are actually really comfortable to stick in there and just leave in your head all day long. They're super light, they're super smooth, there's no annoying janky bits that are cutting into your flesh or anything like that. Yeah, really, really nice. Unfortunately, you can't quite get away with uh, sticking them in and then lying on your side in bed, because as you find there's just enough protrusion from to actually get sort of forced back into your skull, put a bit of extra pressure on there, so that's not too comfortable. But that's basically the same with all true wireless earbuds. As for the actual connectivity, no problems there whatsoever either. The first time you get them, just pop open that lid. You'll see on your smartphone a little message will pop up if you've got an Android, and it'll say, do you want to pair with your Galaxy Buds? Bish, bosh, bash, job done. Even if that doesn't pop up, just go into your Bluetooth menu and they'll pop up in there. It connected in seconds, and that connection stays strong as well. It's very stable indeed. Bluetooth 5, of course, you can wander a fair distance away, and you'll still get a nice strong signal. I literally had to go from one end of my house to the other with my phone left behind before I started to get any kind of judder or breakup. Of course, back in the day, I used to do a pressure test with my earbuds as well, take them to like London Bridge Station and see how they'd cope. Uh, they've been absolutely fine on a busy high street, uh, but I can't see any more beyond that. Now, Samsung's incorporated the usual auto pause feature. Uh, it doesn't work if you only pull one of the buds out. You have to pull both of the buds live out of your locals, and then it will auto pause your podcast or music or whatever you're listening to. But to be honest, because there isn't any rubbery tip actually sticking into your ears, I found that I could leave them in and quite comfortably have a conversation uh, with anyone. All you've got to do is just pause whatever you're listening to with a quick tap job done. As well as the tap to pause and then resume uh, whatever you're listening to, you've also got a uh, double tap in order to skip a track and a triple tap in order to go back a track. And you know what, I found that all worked an absolute charm. It's very intuitive. I didn't have to sit there for ages sort of trying different taps, different speed of taps to see what really worked. Occasionally, of course, if you do just have a bit of a fiddle with one of the buds, you'll accidentally trigger those touch controls. That's pretty much standard. Samsung's Galaxy wearable app is the one that you'll want to grab, but it's freely available via the usual app store shenanigans. And I've got to say, it's one of the better ones that I've played around with as far as true wireless earbuds go. So for instance, you can quickly check the remaining battery life of your buds. You've got a little equalizer that you can play around with there. You've got a Find My Earbuds feature, which works just fine. And if you jump into touch controls, you've got a little bit of configuration you can do in there. As you can see there, you can't actually piddle about with what happens when you tap each of the buds. But what you can do is see what happens when you touch and hold them. So I've got Active Noise Cancelling uh, designated to the left one, and the right one launches up a bit of big speed. However, I'm going to change that up so it actually does volume up and volume down instead, because I personally find that more useful. And if you find the touch controls a bit cack, then no worries, you can actually deactivate them entirely in there. But of course, that really slick design and all the brilliant and audio features wouldn't amount to a barrel of pish if the Galaxy Buds Live sounded like arse. And the good news there is, they most definitely do not. Those 12mm drivers handle absolutely everything with ease. I'm telling you, rock and metal music sounds really punchy, really weird. It's got some incredible bass on it, but it doesn't drown out the rest of the sound. Some of those finer details you can really pick up on, especially on the more uh, calm, more sedate, the ambient tracks. Classical music comes through as clear and as crisp as you like. Dance music has a real punch to it. It'll get you bouncing about the room like a hyperactive badger. And I was really impressed by podcasts and audiobooks as well. Those vocals come through so, so cleanly. They sound really natural. It's almost like you've got people whispering right into your ear. And I was worried that the sort of open ear design, as it were, would kind of affect the audio quality, but no worries there. You can hear things nicely and loudly and plainly, no problem at all. But 
What unfortunately it does mean is that also ambient noise, environmental sounds going on all around you, do also seep in. So while it's nice in that you can have a conversation quite happily with someone with the buds still in there, you're not having to constantly yank them out and shove them back in again. It also means that other people all around you having conversations and stuff, that's all getting right in there and really distracting you. So especially if you're listening to a podcast or an audiobook, you're going to have to really crank that volume to actually be able to clearly hear what is going on. And yes, Samsung has added active noise cancellation to the Galaxy Buds Live as well, but like other true wireless earbuds that don't have a proper rubbery tip like the Huawei Free Buds, it just doesn't really work. I was literally walking down a road, turning it on, turning it off, seeing if I could really pick up any kind of difference with the rumble of the traffic, but you know what? It's very, very debatable whether it makes any impact at all. And it's a real shame because I really wanted to love the Galaxy Buds Live. Everything else about it is superb, but frankly, the fact that it doesn't filter out all of the crap going on around you means that it's kind of hard to recommend them. Perfect for home use, not so good when you go outside. As for call quality, well, not too bad. You've got three uh, mics, two on the outside, one on the inside, which just helped to pick up your voice while also filtering out uh, all of that external noise that I was banging on about before. Unfortunately, apparently my voice came through a little bit sort of fuzzy. It wasn't quite distinctive enough, uh, but at the same time, all of that background crap was cut out quite nicely. So you can have a conversation in a noisy area. You'll probably just want to speak quite loudly and quite clearly. As for actual battery life, well, I found I got around five and a half hours of non-stop use from the buds uh, with the active noise cancellation turned on and around seven and a half hours with the ANC shut off. And since the ANC is basically pointing you might as well just shut it off and enjoy the extra battery life. So that's a little bit better than the average set of true wireless earbuds. You can get two full rechargers from the case itself, which is a little bit below average. You tend to get sort of between two and a half and three full chargers, but it is a very dinky case. I mean, look at the size of this thing. This is absolutely adorable. It's definitely one of the more miniature cases as far as true wireless earbuds in 2020 go, and nice and light as well, just like the buds themselves. You can quite easily slip it into a back pocket or whatever when you're out and about. And when the case itself demands a recharge as well, no worries, you've got tight see USB port there on the back. Otherwise, the Galaxy Buds Live also support wireless charging as well. So great news if you've got, for instance, the new Note 20 handsets, the S20s, anything that supports reverse wireless charging, just slap it on the back and you can get them juiced up again on the go. So right there is my full final review of the Galaxy Buds Live True Wireless Earbuds. I really, really like everything about them, apart from the fact that they do not cut out all of that environmental noise that's going on around you. So if you're just gonna be rocking them about the house or whatever, great stuff. The sound quality is fantastic. The touch controls are great. Super, super comfortable as well. Definitely very adorable. And now it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest, greatest tech if you haven't already. And have yourselves a lovely rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.